What's up YouTube? YouTube, we got an unboxing today. We have a brand new unboxing, y'all. So, I'm super excited for this one right here. Excited about this. Uh, I wanna know, look at that. That's a quick glimpse of what we just got. I mean, just the name is crazy for this unboxing. We got baby tentacle snakes in, y'all. We about to unbox this. We got a tank set up already, just a temporary tank right now. For these snakes, these are water snakes. These guys live in water and they're rare fang venomous too. These came from DM Exotics on Instagram. Go check them out. Super cool, dope, dope guy, dope guy, super cool guy. Super rare, super awesome. Let's take a, a, a deeper look in these. All right, so we're gonna, it's gonna be a little shaky. We're gonna put the snakes right there. Gonna move this box out the way over here. Let's get these out of this container. So you guys can see what they are. They're gonna go in this 10 gallon little setup right here. This is just a temporary enclosure for them right now. We're gonna go get some fish in just a second so they can probably eat for us. But here they are right here, you guys. Let's wet our hands really quick. Get our hands moist a little bit for these snakes. Does anybody know what kind of snake that is right there, you guys? We have two. Wow, these snakes are rare fang venomous. Let's pick it up. He latched onto me so quick. These guys are tentacle snakes. I would recommend to set them up in an enclosure that you're gonna have them in as adults because tentacle snakes are very weird and picky. The ideal water depth for tentacle snakes should be around six to 12 inches. Tentacle snakes need a lot of hiding places and arches spots like driftwood, stones, logs, and aquatic plants live or artificial can be used to create ideal habitats but as you can see in the in the video uh, there will be a few changes to the tank i end up using moss and stones for them to hide an anchor to for me to observe them better and keep a better eye on them i i also added a few seed pods and some leaf litter to create a stale water stream which they like stale water like all aquatic snakes, they're rare fang venomous, which means they do hold a mild venom, but that only affects fish, unless you're allergic. They're not any more harmless than the western hog nose, but tentacle snakes should be rarely handled. Handling them can cause injury to them and also stress them out a lot. Tentacle snakes should be considered a display only species. So as you guys can see, look at this beautiful tentacle snake in this video. These are one of a kind snakes. And we're gonna go to the store in just a second to go get some fish so we can feed these bad boys. And tentacle snakes do need a submersible heater to keep the water anywhere from 77 to 82 degrees. It is best to keep it at maybe 78 degrees 
for your chemical snakes. Lighting can be used, but they are a nocturnal species, so they really don't need a a heat light, a heat lamp. Uh, you can use ambient light, like the light from outside, or, or anything of that sort for your snakes. So I just came back from the store. We had to go get some rosy red minnows because there wasn't no guppies then. I'd rather have mosquito fish to feed them than the rosy red minnows. But let's check this out. Look at the tentacles on that snake right there. The water did get a little murky from adding the fish in, but tentacle snakes does this J-shaped thing to let us know they're hungry. This fish is gonna eat this fish in one second. And that's not even sped up. That snake is so fast. He moved so quick and he ate that thing so fast. Tentacle snakes are one of the craziest, fastest eaters. These snakes can feed on plenty of fish all throughout the day. Tentacle snakes actually do better in stale water as well that I heard. I would do maybe a 30% water change for our tentacle snakes, maybe once a month. They do better on actual minnows, guppies, mosquito fish, mollies, platies, and other amphibians such as um, frogs and tadpoles and stuff like that in the wild. So we are going to try to change up their diet. Uh, Every few weeks, we'll, we'll change it up and give them tadpoles and frogs or other fish species. So like, comment, subscribe, and let us know what we should do. And he's anchored down to a piece of moss. But yeah, this snake is pretty cool. And the other one is over there looking like a stick. And that snake is anchored all the way down to all the moss at the bottom. The beautiful fish they were eating on last night. <clears throat> Each snake ate three fish and look at her belly. You can't even really tell from her belly, but it doesn't even look like she ate three fish. Look at that one. I mean, you can probably tell with this one, but not too much. But it's a simple setup with moss at the bottom, some rocks little small 10 gallon just for them to grow out but they're doing wonderful perfect they're doing really really well I love that little stomach pattern on these guys too all the way up to the top with their little mustache they look he kind of look like vicers when they're underwater uh, I gotta get some footage and show you guys what they look like underwater uh, the fish and the snake kind of looks just alike. <laughs> 